Cardboard Craving. Hey guys, welcome to Cardboard Craving, and today I just wanted to do a quick video on a couple of my favourite uh, miniatures from my collection. Um, these ones are ones that I've painted up. I mean, I've got plenty of miniatures that are unpainted, but it takes a lot of time. Um, these ones I am particularly proud of. Also, big one in the background there, by far my favourite. He's an absolute monster in the game, and it's just, it took me a very long time to put it together, two days nearly. And it was over Christmas, so there's a lot of breaks in between. But, um, yeah, it was, it was a very, very unique experience. Alright, the first one we're going to look at is a uh, Orc War Boss from Warhammer 40k. And um, I painted this one up a couple of years ago now. Um, it's one of my favourites. It took me, I don't know, probably eight hours or something to, to paint this. And I think probably three hours of that was just being picky and anal and just touching up every tiny little bit and, you know. But yeah, it's, it's definitely one of my favourites. I've got the little Dark Angels helmet here on a bit of foam made to look like rocks and a bit of the old, uh, you know, fake grass stuff. And it's just, I've, I've, I've managed to get every sort of little little detail. You know, I've, I've highlighted the, the high bits here. I've highlighted all, all the bits of leather. It's just absolutely one of my best paint jobs by far. Even you can see the little veins on the arm here, I've managed to get the paintbrush in there and highlight them nicely so they stick out. Absolutely just love this piece. Okay, next next up is the Slaughter Priest from Warhammer Age of Sigma. Now this one was a miniature that I got free with the um, White Dwarf magazine. Um, I don't think, actually I think there was only one assembly which was to put the arm on or something like that. If any, I can't remember, it was a while ago. But um, this one too is very good, one of my favourites. These these four on the table are probably my four favourites in the, in the terms of um, paint jobs and stuff. They are just absolutely epic. I mean, I'm not the world's best painter, but I'm, I would definitely think that that, that these are, are fairly decent. Alright. So, I have got a video filmed of how to paint a particular miniature, which is how to paint one of these, which is from the Magic the Gathering uh, Arena of Planeswalkers game, which I'll edit and to show you how I painted those. These are very simple, but even still these take you know, a little bit of time. It gives several layers. Okay. The next one is this miniature here. This is from the um, Legend of Drist uh, Dungeons and Dragons adventure board game. This is like a demon. His name is Air 2. Um, lives in a different reality sort of thing. And this is just very fairly basic but it was just big and um, you can see I've got a lot of the the ink or or wash in there to, to form the sort of fur and then you got the two tone or three tone flames here with orange and red and, and so on and so forth it looks very nice and uh, the sword as well same texture and the wings at the back very nice uh, and sort of like I've just got it with the sort of skin color and then I've, I've put a bit of wash on there and then I've just dry brushed it to, to give it that effect all right so very very happy with that one as well definitely and the one that is the masterpiece is this this one just here I'll bring it forward for you this one is a Knight Paladin or Imperial Knight uh, Warden I believe the box set was which is comes with three options that you can choose from depending on how you change the pieces and, and put it together and stuff um, quite expensive this was $185 Australian at the time which is a couple of years back 
This one took me about two days to put together because I've, I've done a lot with it. I've, I've magnetized the top. So I've put a magnet in there so that it can just clip on and I can interchange it. I've also put a magnet in his midsection like that that so can come apart for better for better storage and for, to carry it around. If you have a look, you can see underneath there the magnet and then on top here you can see I've put some mesh on there so it doesn't just flop about, it actually stays um, in place when you try to position it like this otherwise it would just slump forward I've also put a magnet in the face mask there so I can, I think you've got about five or six of these masks having a little magnet in there, a little rare earth magnet I can interchange the masks to change whatever mask I want um, I've also put magnets in the arm here so there's a magnet in there and also the front of the gun there is a magnet in here so I've got some magnets in there so I can interchange these weapons um, I don't have to stay with the same weapon which means that I can use the um, use it all the variants that it comes with with, with the Warhammer you get a box set and it can make three or four variants but if you glue it together you're stuck with that one variant so by using magnets you can um, basically interchange it so you're not stuck with that one one piece or one model which is, is, is a great great opportunity to customize your army all right so that was just a quick video on a couple of my favorite pieces from my collection and let me know if you if you like these sort of figurines and maybe i could show you some more i've got plenty plenty of board games and plenty of miniatures and um also got a painting tutorial coming up soon and if you like that i can maybe do some more so thanks for watching guys like and subscribe comment what you think what was your favorite and um, we'll see you next time.